the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The slow roll back towards some normalcy. This morning, Metro riders may notice a few changes. Metro is expanding its schedule and adding more trains as more people start returning to the office. Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes us inside ridership data that's driving the commuter changes. Chirping and chugging along. They're the same old trains on the outside, but inside, no one is fighting for a seat. Have you noticed any difference in the amount of people on the trains? Uh, since the weather turned, yeah, a, a few more, but it's still pretty light. This is one of the spots downtown where commuters spill out. Back in March 2019, 275,000 passengers rode Metra a day. Compare that to 7,800 when COVID-19 first arrived. Just last week, Metra hit a pandemic high, 29,000 daily riders, a tenth of what they normally carry. It's very spread out in cars and some days it's like almost nobody, and then some days it looks like, wow, it looks like it's coming back, so it's very erratic. The goal is to stay ahead of the curve. The commuter curve, that is. Metro spokesperson Michael Gillis explains service on the BNSF Milwaukee District North and North Central lines is increasing because of an uptick in riders. They're not too convenient. Yeah, I think I may drive next week. And customer requests for earlier trains, another reason. We had heard that some of the pharmaceutical companies up in Lake County, um, which is sort of a re reverse commute market for us, we're, we're starting to get em urgent employees to come back. And so you wanted to provide that as an option. In all, the schedule is now more than halfway back to normal. CBS2 wondered. Why run 60% of your trains with only 10% of the ridership? Yeah, I mean, part of it is we want to maintain the ability to physically distance on the trains. We want to make sure people are comfortable. Everyone has a different threshold with the vaccine boosting confidence. The hope to keep this slow but steady return on track. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. We have posted the full change to the Metro schedule on our website, cbschicago.com. You can also find it on our CBS Chicago app. Just look for the section called Morning Insiders.